Imagine a world where methane rains from the sky. Liquid hydrocarbons form rivers and lakes. And beneath the icy surface, an ocean potentially harbors the building blocks of life. This isn't science fiction. It's Titan, Saturn's largest moon and one of the most fascinating destinations in our solar system. In July 2028, NASA will launch its most ambitious interplanetary drone mission ever conceived. The nuclear-powered Dragonfly rotorcraft will journey across space for six years before reaching Titan in 2034, where it will fly through the moon's dense atmosphere, exploring regions previously only glimpsed from afar. But while NASA prepares to uncover the secrets of this mysterious moon, another crucial mission is already underway. In 2022, NASA's DART mission successfully changed an asteroid's trajectory by deliberately crashing into it, proving that humanity can defend Earth from potential impacts. Today, we'll explore these two remarkable missions that represent the cutting edge of NASA's dual approach to space, seeking knowledge through bold exploration while developing technologies to safeguard our future. From the methane seas of Titan to the pioneering efforts in asteroid deflection, these missions reveal how far our capabilities have evolved and what challenges lie ahead as we venture deeper into the cosmic unknown. 1. Dragonfly Mission to Titan Saturn's largest moon Titan stands as one of the most intriguing destinations in our solar system. Unlike any other moon, Titan boasts a thick atmosphere and surface lakes, not of water but of liquid methane and ethane. This extraordinary environment makes Titan remarkably Earth-like in its geological processes, yet utterly alien in composition. Scientists believe that studying this moon could provide crucial insights into how life might have emerged on early Earth. The Dragonfly mission confirmed by NASA with a $3.35 billion budget represents a revolutionary approach to planetary exploration. Scheduled to launch in July 2028 aboard a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket, this nuclear-powered rotorcraft is designed to take full advantage of Titan's unique conditions. The dense atmosphere, four times thicker than Earth's, combined with low gravity about one-seventh that of our planet creates ideal flying conditions for the drone-like vehicle. Dragonfly builds upon the legacy of the historic Cassini-Hugens mission, which orbited Saturn from 2004 to 2017. While the Hugens probe provided humanity's first glimpse of Titan's surface in 2005, Dragonfly will explore this alien world in unprecedented detail. The car-sized rotorcraft features eight rotors mounted on four arms, enabling it to fly between multiple locations across Titan's diverse terrain. What makes this mission particularly groundbreaking is its mobility strategy. Traditional planetary landers can only explore a single location, but Dragonfly will perform multiple flights, covering more ground than any rover in history. Each flight will be meticulously planned but must happen autonomously due to the significant communication delay over an hour one way between Earth and Titan. The scientific objectives focus on answering fundamental questions about chemical processes and potential habitability. Upon arriving at Titan in 2034, Dragonfly will target regions rich in organic compounds, the building blocks of life as we know it. These molecules rain down from Titan's atmosphere, creating a natural laboratory for studying prebiotic chemistry similar to what might have occurred on early Earth. Among Dragonfly's destinations are Titan's mysterious sand dunes and impact craters, where liquid water and complex organic materials may have interacted for thousands of years. The rotorcraft will collect and analyze samples using its suite of scientific instruments, searching for evidence of chemical processes that could potentially support life. The Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory leads the mission development, with contributions from multiple international partners including NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, Lockheed Martin, and space agencies from France, Germany, and Japan. After passing its critical design review in April 2024, the mission team is now focusing on building the spacecraft itself. Dragonfly represents the fourth mission in NASA's New Frontiers program, joining the ranks of pioneering explorations like New Horizons to Pluto and the OSIRIS-REx asteroid sample return. Beyond its scientific value, the mission serves as a technological demonstration that could inform future exploration of other planetary bodies with atmospheres. As NASA's associate administrator Nikki Fox noted, exploring Titan will push the boundaries of what we can do with rotorcraft outside of Earth. This mission embodies the spirit of exploration at its finest, venturing into unknown territory, both physically and scientifically, to expand our understanding of the solar system and potentially unlock secrets about life's origins. Two. 
5 Reasons NASA is Sending Dragonfly to Titan Titan, with its methane seas and orange smog, is in some ways the most similar world to Earth that we have found. Though it's merely a moon tethered by gravity to its cosmic ruler, Saturn, Titan has all the trappings of a planet, including clouds, rain, lakes and rivers, and even a subsurface ocean of salty water. Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens discovered Titan in 1655, calling it simply Luna Saturni, or Saturn's moon. The true nature of this largest of Saturn's moons remained inscrutable until NASA's Cassini spacecraft made 127 close flybys over 13 years exploring the Saturn system. Cassini also deployed the European Space Agency's Huygens probe through Titan's atmosphere in 2005, finally revealing the mysterious moon's surface after 350 years of obscurity. The first compelling reason for exploration is Titan's unique thick atmosphere, the only moon in our solar system with one. This atmosphere, four times denser than Earth's, will allow Dragonfly to stay easily aloft and fly more than 100 miles during its mission, almost double the distance traveled by all Mars rovers combined. Second, Titan's atmosphere bears striking similarities to early Earth's, made mostly of nitrogen 95% like Earth's 78%, with about 5% methane and other carbon compounds. It lacks oxygen, but resembles our planet when microbes dominated billions of years ago. Scientists believe Earth may have once had a similar orange haze that nurtured early life by keeping the planet temperate and screening harmful ultraviolet radiation. Third, the intriguing chemistry happening on Titan makes it a priority target. The interaction of methane and nitrogen in the atmosphere creates complex organic compounds, the building blocks of life as we know it. Scientists are eager to identify which compounds exist on Titan and whether they resemble those that could have seeded life on Earth. Fourth, Titan represents a real-time scientific experiment, impossible to reproduce in laboratories. Many scientists view the moon as a virtual laboratory for prebiotic chemistry that's been ongoing for ages. When Dragonfly arrives in 2034, it will sample these experimental results at various locations culminating at the Selk Impact Crater, where organic compounds may have mixed with liquid water for extended periods. Finally, Titan fascinates because it mirrors Earth while maintaining distinctly alien characteristics. Its terrain looks eerily familiar, with dunes, rivers, lakes, and seas, yet each feature has exotic traits. The dunes consist of dark hydrocarbon grains rather than sand. The rivers and lakes contain liquid methane instead of water. The rocks are made of water, ice frozen solid in the extreme cold, and the rain that falls from clouds is methane, not water. As Dragonfly prepares for its ambitious journey, it carries with it humanity's profound curiosity about our cosmic neighborhood and the potential for life beyond Earth. This revolutionary mission embodies NASA's commitment to bold exploration and innovative technology development that continues to expand our understanding of the solar system and our place within it. The parallel stories of Dragonfly and Titan's unique characteristics represent two sides of the same cosmic coin, exploration and discovery, as we reach towards Saturn's mysterious moon to unlock secrets of potential life beyond Earth. We simultaneously develop technologies to expand our understanding of how planets form and evolve. This dual approach showcases humanity's unique position in the universe, curious explorers with the determination to understand our cosmic origins. The upcoming Dragonfly mission builds upon decades of planetary exploration and represents a revolutionary approach to studying other worlds. Meanwhile, Titan itself offers a window into both Earth's distant past and the chemical processes that might lead to life in wildly different environments. Together, these missions symbolize a new era in our relationship with space, one where we actively shape our cosmic destiny rather than remaining passive observers. As these missions progress, stay engaged by following NASA's updates, supporting space exploration funding, and sharing these remarkable stories with others. The journey into space belongs to all of humanity, and our collective future among the stars depends on the choices we make today.